What is up everybody? I'm Aquarium Service Tech and I am with Tommy of Technicians and today we are going to talk about green hair algae issues and how to take care of that naturally. Now in order to do that we have a tank that we service that has had some really bad bad green hair algae issues. I mean like the back glass was covered, the rocks were covered, the corals were covered. I mean on the sand everywhere. It was one of the worst cases I've ever seen. But did we panic? No we did not. Why didn't we panic? because for the first six months, your tank is gonna go through various algae blooms during the maturation process. So we knew that this was coming. We just didn't necessarily expect for it to be this bad. Now there was a variety of factors that led to it being this bad, but let's go ahead and get into the video right now and you guys can see the progression on where this tank was and where it stands today. And then afterwards, we'll get into a little bit more detail of uh, kind of how our approach to it and what, how it even got this bad. Enjoy. Again, sorry about the reflection from outside, <clears throat> but I am in a customer's house and I cannot shut their blinds. But we can see a bit of progression. We see the algae starting to dissipate in certain areas and starting to go away in certain spots. And it's coming off a lot easier now. So what I mean by coming off a lot easier is if we just go like that, it pulls right off. It's, it's not a struggle to get off at all. Its color is also getting a lot more faint, which uh, looks like a sign that the algae is starting to die off a bit. Whereas before this tank was completely covered, you see some spots back in here that are clearing up. The corals are able to, are starting to not be completely covered by them like they were before. Even this time around, you can see the Gorgonian doesn't have any algae on it right now. So we're making headway uh, little by little. It's taking time, but it's, it's coming along. And I think we're a couple services away from this tank finally, finally curing <laughs> and maturing enough to where I, don't, I think we're, we've turned the corner and the algae is going to start getting better. And you can get an idea of just how much algae came out of that tank just from with the, just with the net. Like that's a couple of times around the tank, sifting through, and there is a ton of algae. You could even see there's some copepods mixed in there as well. See them moving around. It's so cool. That's also a very important part of your uh, cleanup crew right there. But that is a ton of algae. Wow. And here again, another good scrubbing. Rocks are looking a lot more clear. But we know that this algae is going to come back. It's just a matter of time. But we're just going to make it as difficult as possible for it to come back as strong as it was before. Continue to do water changes, continue to scrub. And I'm pretty confident within like a month, we're gonna be looking at a completely different tank. Already we're seeing a difference, I think about 25% improvement. I'm hoping with the next week or two, especially with the customer coming back uh, and not feeding the, I think just getting off a of pellet food helped a lot, switching to flake. But I think once we're off flake and we're doing strictly frozen, I think you're gonna see night and day with this aquarium. I think the algae is gonna dissipate really quick. I say within two weeks to a month, this tank is gonna be completely, um, the hair algae is going to be completely gone, and I think we're going to be looking at a completely different tank. So let's go ahead and skip to that now. So here we are with the next visit, and there's remarkably less algae than there was before. The customers are back in town. They're starting to feed frozen food again. So there's not as much nutrients going in the water with the, uh, you know, with the pellet and the flake food. And just by looking at the rock, yes, there's still some algae, and there's a potential there for it to, to come back. But we're starting to win the war here guys we've turned the tables look how clean the rocks are getting the corals have never looked better they're starting to encrust and grow there's more clear spots than there are spots that are covered the anemones the zoas are able to come out now um, now there's still algae in this tank but if you look at the back here there is like nothing on that back wall anymore there's still some areas kind of uh, fluttering off the rock um, we're not out of the woods yet, but I'd say we're we're definitely in a good position here. But we got to be very mindful with uh, our photo period, so with our lighting, and we got to be very careful 
what we're putting in here as far as food. And finally, these mushrooms uh, are not covered in algae anymore, and they look amazing. Now, um, all the corals in here are really starting to, to, to really take off now that they're not being harassed by the green hair algae. And like I said, there are some spots that are still a bit um, difficult, but compared to what this tank was originally, like this Gorgonian right here was absolutely just covered, covered in algae. And to see that thing clear up and this rock cleared up, huge, uh, huge deal. And these mushrooms are no longer having to like be retracted in. They're able to expand. Um, that's a new uh, Fragazoa right there. That, that's looking great. And uh, even the, the, the um, sand is looking amazing. So we're definitely headed in the right direction. Just got to keep the pace. It's been two weeks since our last service. We'll be back in another two weeks and hopefully we're going to be seeing uh, even more of a difference. So here we are with our fourth service. We're about a month and a half into this. We come every two weeks uh, for a service. We've done some pretty decent sized water changes in here and just deep, deep scrubs and it's starting to pay off. We are finally starting to see um, the corals looking way better and we're finally starting to see a huge dent in the algae in this tank. Um, I think the tables have turned. We're right, we're just almost at the finish line. There's plenty of clear space on the rock, plenty, plenty of clear real estate. These red mushrooms are going absolutely nuts in this aquarium. They have plenty of room to stretch out. All these corals have plenty of room to grow now. They're not having to concede territory to the algae. Um, now there is still some spots that are a little bit suspect, but I'm feeling really, really good. Look, that toadstool, those polyps haven't come out in a long time. So the fact that those polyps are out, what a great sign. That also lets me know that the chemistry is on point. This Gorgonian, like when we first uh, serviced this tank, that Gorgonian was completely covered in algae when we first started dealing with this algae um, situation. So uh, even put a new little frag in here and, and that's just looking great. The zoos are all open. All the soft corals are looking great. Um, so I think we're right there in the finish line. There are still some areas that are suspect, but I, I have a, a utmost confidence the next time we come here, we're gonna be looking at a completely, uh, a cured tank pretty much. Here we are two weeks later, our fifth service dealing with this hair algae. And guys, we've come to the finish line. Here we are. The tank looks amazing. I mean, it's been a, a two month process. We've been working at it. Big water changes, scrubbing, siphoning, uh, getting algae out with uh, nets. It's been it's been work. It's been, you know, two hours at a time just getting in here and doing the work, putting in the time. We're only here once every two weeks. So when we're here, we got to make it count. And the proof is right in front of you guys. This tank looks great. The algae is on, is 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 ninety nine point nine percent gone. Um, there's obviously a little bit here and there, but no big deal. The water chemistry is reading perfect. Um, we put some Monet calories in here too. That will stay on top of any further issues we'll have down the road. But look at the mushrooms. The mushrooms are like quadrupled their growth rate. The the color on them is insane. Uh, the the every single soft coral in here looks amazing. And the best part about it is the softies are doing great. Now we can start introducing LPS because the algae has gone. I don't have video, but this tank was absolutely covered. I mean, covered in hair algae. The gorgonians, the corals, everything was just this. It was just uh, it was an algae tank. That's all it was. You couldn't even see the corals. And the fact that we've battled that and stuck through it without using any chemicals or or any type of additive, just with just hard work getting in there, water changes. I mean, look at the back of the glass here. Like, there's there's a little bit on, on the glass, but that's completely natural. Most people have that in their aquariums. And we're not even done yet, guys. We're still servicing this tank. We're still gonna get it looking even better. We really just kind of stuck with it. We knew that we were gonna be dealing with this and we stuck to a game plan and it's starting to pay off. And that feels really good because I knew this day would come. I'm very happy for the customer because they're getting the tank that they wanted. Uh, the corals are growing like they wanted. I, I, I'm very happy that we were able to provide this uh, for them and we're gonna continue our relationship with them. We're gonna continue to service this tank and we're gonna make it look even better in the future. We're gonna put some quarantine corals in here, some more fish in here. We're gonna have this thing looking amazing. Anybody out there going through green hair algae issues, don't get discouraged. Just put the time and set a time each week to do good water changes, scrub, siphon. You will see in the end 
of your green hair algae, that day will come. This took us about two and a half months for this to happen. And real quick, look at the glass right here. I haven't even began scrubbing the glass and it's clear already. I haven't even touched the tank, I just got here. Look how beautiful it looks. Now, I'd be lying if I told you guys that I'm not really like super happy right now that that tank cleared up. Um, and looks the way it does. I It's so nice to finally have it to where now we can start really putting tons more coral in there and adding more fish and things like that. Um, we got rid of the hair algae and we did it the natural way. And um, it, it happened a lot quicker than I thought it was gonna happen too. So um, yeah, huge win for us today. So there you have it. I am legit just thrilled with the way the tank looks now. Mm -hmm. Although I, I knew it was coming, I knew we'd get there. It's just finally nice to reach the finish line. And again, we did this just with patience and just knowing that we were gonna face this and knowing that we were gonna deal with this and with water changes and with tank maintenance, we got this tank looking beautiful. Yep. Now, something that made this issue worse was the customers, they went away and they were feeding the fish with an auto feeder feeding pellets. And during the first six months of your tank, you want to limit nutrient input. You want the water to be dirty, but you don't want there to be a ton of organics because there isn't a bunch of stuff in there to break that down yet. And so those free organics in the tank were just fertilizer for that algae. Mm -hmm. Once they came home and were able to feed frozen again, we started seeing rapid improvements. It was a game algae. changer, absolutely. Yep. And, you know, being that we service, you know, over a hundred tanks, we are kind of used to we know that these uh, stages are coming. We know between, you know, starting your tank and the three month period, you're gonna be dealing with the brown algae. So your diatoms, your dinoflagellates and different bacteria blooms. And then we also know between like that four to six to eight month period, you're gonna start dealing with a little bit higher nutrients and there's gonna be green hair algae issues. We know this is gonna come. So for those of you out there, they're dealing with either brown algae or green hair algae issues. I just want you to know this is natural. This is a natural progression uh, when you start your tank up to like six to eight months, don't get frustrated, don't quit the hobby. There is an end at sight. Just stay at it and keep up your tank maintenance. Be mindful what you're putting in your tank, test your water and be preemptive. You know that, you know, when you first start your tank, you're gonna get those brown algaes. Be very careful with your photo period. So be careful if you don't have coral in the tank, there's no need to have the light on. Uh, shorten your light, lighting period. Also be mindful of feeding flake and, and pellet foods. Mm -hmm. Yeah, feeding frozen food, it's way harder to overfeed a tank when you're feeding frozen than when you're feeding with these highly dense, nutrient-dense processed foods. Photo period, that's a great trick right there. Also, uh, a lot of people understock in terms of coral and invertebrates when they first set up their tank. And it's a natural fear to not want to put something in there that's going to get smothered by algae. Like, you don't want to put things in your tank that are going to die. That's not why we are in this hobby. But you need to add that microbial diversity. And so starting with like zoas, mushrooms, leathers, hardy things that can take it and smother by a little bit of algae to bring in that diversity, really, really helpful. And we saw with this tank where there's a lot of soft corals and even anemones in, in the aquarium. Mm -hmm. um, I think the key also is throughout this whole process, we saw that the corals were always healthy. They were always looking good, great colors. They were always out and vibrant. Although the algae was kind of covering them, they still were healthy. So we knew that the water chemistry was still good and it was coming along. Mm -hmm. And we knew we had a healthy ecosystem. We just had to be patient. Yeah, I mean, those corals were growing. They were growing like crazy, yeah. Despite the algae. Yep. If you guys have any questions, please leave it in the comments. I'll try to answer. If you're dealing with uh, green hair algae issues, Stay at it, don't get discouraged. There's an end in sight. Mm -hmm. Keep up with that maintenance, and most of all, be patient, shorten that photo period. Should we tell them about fluconazole? This is another video on fluconazole. This is about being natural. Oh, okay. Yeah, all right. All natural. Mm. All right, guys, have a good one. See you next time. How do you take missions?